Welcome everyone, here is how you use the gestures in your iPhone 14 Pro. So if I open up an app by tapping on the app box, you're going to see we have this white or black bar right here. This bar will be white if the background is black and black if the background is white. So in order to close out of an app, you're going to get one finger and you just want to do a flick up, okay? So you flick up and make sure you release once the flick is done. So I'll show you an example right here, flick. So I'm flicking down on the screen and then releasing once the flick motion is done, okay? So it may take a couple of attempts to get done, but once you get this once, you'll be able to do it every single time. Now on top of this, we have multitasking in the iPhone 14 Pro. And in order to access multitasking, we're gonna do the flick motion, but when we end the flick, we usually release our finger. Instead, we're gonna keep our finger held down. So we'll do the flick. We're gonna keep the finger held down. You're gonna notice the app doesn't close. We have these boxes right here. You're then gonna release your finger and now we're in multitasking. The device itself will actually vibrate when you need to release your finger from the screen. So slide up and hold. When you feel the vibration, release. And so what that means, as you can see, I can very quickly access the multitasking here. Okay, want to go home, home, multitasking, multitasking. It may take a while to get used to that, but once you've done that, then you're going to be good to go. Now, in the multitasking view right here, we do have the option to close out of apps. So you're going to find the app in question. Let's say iMovie, and you find where the app box is. So you can see the preview of the app, and you just do a flick up like you're going home, but flick up where you see the app box, so we flick up and you can see the application is closed. You can also use multiple fingers, as long as you select the app box and do a little flick, you can close out the apps as well. Now on top of this, the home bar can be used for quick access between apps. So we do a flick up to go home, but if you flick to the left or to the right, you can switch between apps which are open in the multitasking. So I'm going to flick to the right here, Okay, and you can see I'm switching between the apps and if you can't flick anymore, that means you're on the furthest uh, app to the right or left. And if we do the vi uh, vice versa, where we are flicking to the left, you can see I can easily switch between all of my applications, no problem there. Now, if you open up applications such as the settings app and I go to a sub menu, let's say general, if I do a flick up, that you know goes to the home screen, but I wanna go back to the previous page in settings. So you have this back button that's really hard to reach. I mean, look at that, I can't reach it and I have massive hands. So what you do instead is you're gonna get your finger and you're gonna do a, a slide from the far left hand side, do a little slide. And if you do a full slide like this slowly, boom, you can go back to the previous sub menu but you can also do a flick, okay? Imagine you're flicking up to go home, but you just do it from the side and that will allow you to go back. That doesn't work in all applications, but for settings it works. If I go to Safari here, it also works. Now in some other apps, you can slide from left to right to go back to the previous page and then also slide from right to left to redo your changes, okay? So go back go forward. However, that doesn't work in all apps. Settings, you can see, I can't go back to the previous page by sliding from the right. However, I can go back by sliding like so. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.